Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Richard Oketch and today we are going to be talking about self-sacrifice. In the book of Luke 631, and I'm sure you can quote this from Sunday school, primary school, high school, all the different areas where you were exposed to a Bible. This verse must have resonated all the time. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Many of us know that verse. Many of us have heard it. Many of us have just realized right now that it is a verse because it is often quoted in very many different places and areas and you may not have been sure that it's a verse. Yes, it is. Luke 631. But it is, in, it is, it is very crucial for us to understand that this is calling us to one big thing self-sacrifice for you to be in a position where you think about others first because you want them to do the same things to you it is calling you to a place of self-sacrifice now the challenge with many of us is that we care about ourselves first before we think about others you might be the most kind person but at some point in your life you also prioritize yourself you also think about the outcome with regards to how beneficial it is to you or how it's going to affect you in the long run or in the future or even immediately. Self-sacrifice is not easy because you have to put others before you. For those of you who have families, you by, you know, by, by default have to learn the art of self-sacrifice, you know, for your spouse, for your children, for your siblings or your elders and even for some of your relatives. For others, we have grown up knowing that, you know, we have the priority, we are the priority, everyone has to do things in accordance to what we want, how we would like, and specifically so that I am happy. But let us try and exercise a little more self-sacrifice. In the world today, there's competition everywhere. Everyone is trying to get ahead. Everyone is trying to work on their career. Everyone is trying to work on their future. They're trying to work on their purpose. Everyone is trying to understand themselves better, to know what it is they like, what it is they love, who it is they want. There's a lot of self-centeredness and it is not bad, it is not evil, it is only human and it is natural. But for us to know what it is that other people are experiencing, how better to be as a human being and even interact as a Christian, you need to learn the art of self-sacrifice. God is very, very clear in telling us and instructing us that it is better to serve than it is to be served. It is better for you to put others before yourself so that you may also be elevated eventually. Do not always rush to think about yourself. It might bring about isolation. It might make you become someone toxic towards other people. And you will notice that people might not approach you for certain favors or help or even for general conversations. You have to understand that people are sensitive, people are also going through challenges, everyone is trying to get ahead in life, everyone is trying to figure out what it is that they can do to better themselves. So it is very important for you to also be part of that process through self-sacrifice. The moment that you put other people's needs, you put other people's dreams and passions before yours, you will also in turn be elevated even in your dreams. I know sometimes you think, but I'll only see them prospering and you start noticing someone got a better job, someone got a new house, someone is now married and you're thinking, I have put in so much effort in my own life, I decided to take a back seat and help my friends and now they're prospering and I'm not. Don't worry about the timelines that other people's lives have been cut out for. Focus on your own time because God knows how he has aligned your life. He knows why you're going through the experiences that you do right now. And the best indicator that you are on the right path, the Lord will always give you peace that surpasses human understanding. So learn the art of self-sacrifice, but eventually also, and the most important thing is to understand and discern what God requires of you at specific times and points in your life. That way, you will not only be self-sacrificing for other people, but you will also be understanding what it is that you are going through and the process 
that you're in in life and the stage that you're in that will help you not compare yourself to other people. The pressure is immense. If you go to Instagram, if you go to Facebook or Twitter, you will see people posting about their lives. You will see people talking about how things are working out for them. And on the flip side is not many people share the struggles that they go through or the challenges that they're facing in life. It is very easy for us to look at the successes that are highlighted and forget that these people also went through a process. So even in your life, as you plan the things that you would like for yourself, take it upon yourself also to be kind to other people, to learn the art of self-sacrifice so that you put other people ahead of you. It is a very fulfilling experience, I can tell you that for a fact, that God knows eventually what plans he has for you. So don't worry about people going ahead of you or people making it in life, quote unquote, and you feel like you're still behind or you are not making as much progress as you would wish. God knows the timelines that he has for you and he understands exactly where he wants you to be all through. Remember, he is the beginning from the end, the alpha and the omega. He knows, he knows everything and how it is highlighted and how he has planned out your life. So learn how to be a bit more kind. In traffic, give way. At the parking lot, try and help someone else leave their car or, or park the spaces that you, know, you would have ideally rushed for. There is always something that you can do, even in the most mundane ways, that will help someone else. And that will be an art and a kind act of self-sacrifice. Thank you so much for joining us for this topic. We hope that you can continue to watch our content. We have videos on YouTube, Sitam Church Online. Check the YouTube page. We also have an Instagram page. You can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook as well. Thank you and goodbye.